All right, cloudy morning in Nagarkot. Look at this. Can't see anything around me. Zero visibility. But today we're flying out from Kathmandu to Pokhara. Take off the fufu. Take off the cloudy. Take off the fufu. Thank you for that adventure. We're just leaving the hotel. So see you guys at the flight. Last look at this amazing view. Can't see anything today because of the clouds and the haze. It's actually beautiful with this, but... Hopefully the roads going down are not too bad. Right outside the domestic airport, you got your taxi stands here. You got the plane right there. This looks like the main entry, so let's go. It's your airport shuttle bus that takes you from international to domestic and vice versa. Yeah, let's go inside now. This is the domestic airport because we're going to Pokhara, which is a city nearby, so let's do that. All right, we just got our tickets from inside. Time to head out now. Our flight is actually right now instead of an hour from now, so let's go. All right, we finally made it to our bus. That's gonna take us to our plane. I don't know where the driver is though. Look at this. Beautiful, local airport. Looks like this plane's taking off. Damn, look at that. Right, we just arrived at Pokhara Airport. Look at this. Look at the scenery around here. That's crazy. Arrived in Pokhara, that's the plane that I came in. But check out this view. That's wild. This is Pokhara International Airport, just opened up this year. So, really nice to be here. Everything's perfect around here. Let me show you guys inside. We already collected our baggage, but this is where it comes in. Look at this. Pokhara International Airport. That's the flight we were in. Sick. I don't think I've seen a better view outside a airport ever in my life. Alright, room number 201. Let's put this in. Hotel Portland. Perfect room for us. Got your table. Let's check out the view. Damn! This is crazy. You see the Annapurna mountain range is right there. This is Feva Lake, but you can't see it right now. I'm gonna go to the terrace and show you guys what that looks like. Yeah, this is beautiful. The weather's a bit hot, but it's not too bad to be honest. You got a nice balcony. I like the colors in this hotel. Nice cream with these palm trees. Looks like you're in Mykonos or Greece. Interior, really nice. Beds, pretty soft. You got your TV. Let's check out the washroom. Damn, this is proper. Really nice, look at this. You got, every, you got a proper section for your shower. You got a big mirror. All right, let's get some rest first and then head out. This is another room they're showing us, 202. Pretty similar room, but they just got two single beds instead of one single and one double. I'd say it's pretty similar view as well. Yeah. Everything else looks pretty similar. It's just the beds that I feel like that room's a bit bigger, but I can't tell to be honest. All right, let's go back to my room. All right, just made it to the top, but you guys aren't ready for this view. First off, look at that mountain. That's called Macha Putre or Macha Putre. Any 
one of those it literally means fishtail in nepal or nepali that is one of the most isolated mountains on planet earth pretty much untouched its peak is pretty much untouched or unclimbable it's that sharp and high almost 7000 meters up in the sky which is insane you got the whole annapurna ranges i'd say behind these small mountains you need to be a bit higher to see those you can see them in the back right there However, look at this, you got the Feva Lake right here, which is popular for rafting and stuff like that. And this city in general is super beautiful, to be honest. You got your Peace Pagora up there. But this is definitely my favorite part, the lake. I always love water, so being anywhere near it is always fun. I'm gonna go there for rafting and stuff like that. But right now we're going down to find a place where we can have lunch. But this street looks pretty nice for that, so let's go do that. Can't get enough of this look though, wow. But man, this city is so beautiful. Anywhere you look is pretty much a postcard. That's wild, it's that beautiful. Anything you see in Nepal on postcards is pretty much from Pokhara because it's super beautiful, super, super beautiful. I'm gonna wait for my lift to arrive. Oh, there you go, really nice. And let's go back to our second floor where my room is, so see you guys then. Check this out, Hotel Portland. This is our hotel that we're living in. Pretty nice to be honest. Officially day five, time to explore Pokhara, so let's go do that. These alleys, really beautiful. Got graffiti all around. That's our hotel. Look at these stores. Crazy. Filled with stickers and stuff like that. Check this out. This is the festival that's currently going. Nepal-China Friendship Dragon Boat Race Festival, which we're going to check out for sure. Probably today evening or tomorrow evening. Along this way, it's pretty much all shops, stores with clothing. I guess this is a bit more touristy area, so they got stores like these. You got shawls, you got dresses. You got stuff that you could take to hiking as well, so that's sick. All right, I guess this is where we're having lunch, Punjabi restaurant. Let's go check it out. I haven't seen any proper Indian restaurants since I've been here, so let's check it out. All right, it's about 4.30 p.m. I changed into my shorts after lunch. But look how nice the weather has gotten right now. It's not too hot, not too cold. We're gonna head towards the lake, so let's go do that. Another thing I noticed about Pokhara, look how nice the roads are compared to the rest of Nepal. You have proper road crossings, there's no potholes or anything. It's much, much nice and made specifically for tourists in mind, for sure. Like, check out the shops around here. The restaurants here, the stuff they sell, it's pretty much all for tourists. Alright, check out the weather, super nice right now, almost about 25 degrees. Check out this area, you can see the mountains in the back, you got grass here, you got your lake there. So yeah, let's go head inside and let's see how it is. Right, check this out, we're near the entrance of Feva Lake, but we got this beautiful map around here. But check out how much there's to do all across the map of Feva Lake. There's cafes, hotels everywhere. Damn, that bus is so loud. Got people selling ice cream. Look at that. And lots of taxis and tourists all around. All right, one good thing, there's fixed prices for everything. Rowing boat rate, look at this. Authority of the boat, four person only. Just to go to that temple right there, it's only 100, but that's like literally 10 minutes out. One hour with the driver is 900, so you're gonna be around here for an hour. That should be sick. Then you got all the other prizes here. So pause the video if you wanna see any of the prizes. There you go. But God damn, check out this view. This is crazy. You got all the boats here, nice trees. That's beautiful. This is the start of a one hour boat ride across Feva Lake. Let's see how it goes. All right, we started off from somewhere right there. We're at a temple called Berahi Temple, right in the middle of the lake. It's actually beautiful because there's water all around. This is pretty much an island. We're here with this boat. Sick guy driving it as well. We're gonna be here at the temple for another five, 10 minutes before we head out. You see a nice Nepali flag right there. And look how beautiful this view of the lake is. It's actually stunning. And for 900, you wouldn't want to miss out on this when you're here, for sure. 
But with boats this filled, it must be difficult to ride it because it's only one driver and imagine the weight on the boat. That would be wild. Luckily, we're only three, so it must be easier for the driver for sure. But I definitely can't get enough of this view. Check this out. See all the mountains, you see the water as well. I could actually see it from our hotel, but this view is so much nicer. Look at that. This temple is actually 700 years old. Must be crazy. Imagine all the people that have visited here across the ages. Tal Barahi, Tal Barahi Temple. This is actually really nice. Pokhara Tourism Council. You can just scan the app and you see everything you would want about this temple. This is definitely stunning. All right, time to go back out on the lake. Check out the views from here. In the distance, you could also see all the different types of boats people are in, depending on how many people. All right, say hello to Mr. Guggen. He's our boat captain for the day. Really nice guy. And here's me rowing the boat, complete professional, as you can see. If you guys are coming around here, make sure to come with this guy, Gagan. Really, really helped us around, showed us the best places around here. He already got another ride, so that's good for him. But yeah, time for us to head out. All right, time to head out from this area, at least for today. We're gonna come back tomorrow 100%. But yeah, let's go out, let's go explore the market. So let's do that. I was just heading back to the market, but I can't get enough of this view. Like, wow, this is actually wild. Everywhere you see in Nepal pretty much is super beautiful. But it's now time to finally go in, check out the market, so let's do that. This area is called Barahi Ghat. You got your corn guy here. You got fresh ice cream. You got people selling sunglasses. Let's see what else is inside. We're gonna get some fresh corn, only 10 rupees, so that's nice. Look at this. Check out this view, look at this. You see all the boats behind me? These are a few examples of what we went in. I don't know why they're tied up together right now, but that shot is nice. Man, Nepal is just something else. Such a beautiful country, such a beautiful city. It's insane. This area definitely looks like a place where all the families would come out in the evening with their kids. Just get a stroll in the park, get some fresh air. Plus, get this beautiful scenery. But it's definitely really crowded. I guess this is how it is every single day. It's not like it's today or tomorrow. Every single day, it's this many people. All right, we're a bit inside, but check out these 10 boats all in a line with this sunset. Looks insane. There's also some boat race thing going on there in the morning, so I might come check that out. Yeah, let's, let's see what else we can find in the market. They got this I love Pokhara sign with the Nepali flag in the back. That's nice. Lots of people taking photos, videos. You can also get boat rentals from here. I'd say that is the perfect place to get it because that's government control. This is, I guess, a private company or something like that. Check out this view, man. So good. Anywhere you go across this whole line is amazing. You also got restaurants all along this line so you'd never get hungry around here because there's always some food or something going on around. You got places with barbecue right here. Look at that. Fresh barbecue being made. You got people fishing down there. Look at that. Fishing along the lake. Got lots of restaurants around. Here. Nice doggo. Look at that. Who's the dog is that? how busy this street is you got restaurants every single place here we just came out from the lake area we got some barbecues going on we got the painting shop we got a coffee shop we got a place where you could rent out kayaks for the day for the hour it's definitely a really nice area you could get everything you would want everywhere around here so 
This is one of the first proper grocery stores I've seen in Nepal. I'm gonna get this. I really like these hide and seek chocolate chip cookies. Pretty nice. But they definitely have a lot more variety than the majority of the stores I've been to at least. I was walking by getting my biscuits, but check this out. This is the world's smallest biscuit packet. What? This is a mini packet and then you have this guy, like three or four biscuits. This is five rupees only. I'm gonna put the conversion down here. But what? That's crazy. All right, the biscuits are secured. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Something happened on the way up, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Viewers be aware, this is not gonna look good.